When you trade cryptocurrencies, emotions are your biggest enemy. You can try to convince yourself that you are a perfectly rational person. But when the market is volatile, like everybody, you are likely to feel fear or greed and take bad decisions. With a trading bot, you can write some code that will execute a specific trading strategy without your emotions getting in the way. In this video, I'm going to explain what is a trading bot, how it works, and how you can build one. If you don't know me, I'm Julian, and on Eat the Blocks, I teach blockchain development. When you want to create a crypto trading bot, the first thing to do is to create a trading strategy. There are many strategies. One of the most simple is to do an arbitrage. An arbitrage involves two exchanges, exchange A and exchange B. You spot a price difference for the same coin between exchange A and exchange B, and you profit from the price difference. For example, if Bitcoin trades at $30,000 on Coinbase and at $31,000 on Binance, you buy one Bitcoin on Coinbase and set it right away on Binance for a total profit of $1,000. These price differences do not happen very often, and when they happen, they are exported very fast. But if you monitor these opportunities and you are fast enough, you can make a profitable trade. Variation of this would be a triangular arbitrage where instead of two assets, you have three. Another example of strategy is what we call sniping, where as soon as there is a new coin listed, you buy it right away because in general, coins go up in value very quickly just after they are listed. And you can resell the coin automatically a few hours after you initially bought it, after it has pumped a lot. There are many other strategies you can do, this is just a sample. And if you are just getting started, I recommend to just focus on a simple arbitrage strategy with two coins. Once you pick a strategy, it's time to turn it into an algorithm. This algorithm is not necessarily very complex and you can specify it with natural language. No need for any programming language at this stage. For example, for a simple arbitrage, the algorithm will be to run a loop. In each iteration, you will evaluate if there is an arbitrage opportunity. If that's the case, you will send an API call to the first exchange to buy the coin. Then you transfer the coin to your address on the second exchange then you send an API call to the second exchange to sell the coin. Once you figure out what's going to be the algorithm, the next step is to translate it into code. There are many programming languages that you can choose. Two of the most popular ones for trading boats are Node.js and Python. Personally, I like to use Node.js because that's what I use the most, but Python will work fine too. There is a Node.js library I really like for doing crypto trading boats. It's called CCXT. It exposes the ABI of many crypto exchanges with a standard interface, which means you don't have to waste your time researching the APIs of all these different exchanges. You just use the API of the CCXT library and you are good to go. Once your trading bot is coded, the last step is to run it. For this, you will need to get API keys for all the exchanges that are used in your trading bots. Sometimes you will need to do some additional verification on your account to get API access. Be careful, if your trading bot does something crazy like sending too many requests per second, you can get your account suspended. Once you have your API keys, you can deploy your script on a server. A crypto trading bot is a simple program. It's just a script that runs on a server. That's why I recommend to not overcomplicate your deployment like using a customized server on AWS. Keep it simple and deploy your trading bot on something simple like Heroku. What I just described is a trading bot that works with centralized exchanges. Even though we buy and sell crypto, the actual interaction with the blockchain is pretty limited. We mainly use REST APIs on the web outside of the blockchain. But there is also another kind of crypto trading bot with a deeper integration with blockchain. I'm talking of trading bots that work with DeFi protocols like Uniswap or Compound. There are some strategies that you can also apply to the blockchain. For this kind of boat, you can reapply some of the strategies that I already mentioned before, like arbitrage, but this time it will be between decentralized exchanges, not centralized exchanges. And on the blockchain, we have more possibilities. For example, you can do an atomic arbitrage, which means you can bundle the buy and sell order of an arbitrage in a single transaction. It either make a profit or the whole operation is canceled. And you can also use tools that are unique to the blockchain, like flash loans. Now let's talk about a very important question. How much money can you make with a trading bot? 
This is a difficult question. If you ask me how much money you can earn as a blockchain developer, I can give you a precise answer. There is a market price for blockchain developers. But for trading bots, it's not a profession, it's a skill. And there is a huge variance in the amount of money earned by trading bots. The amount of money you will earn with your trading bot depends on the amount of capital that you will use, the level of risk you are willing to tolerate, your level of skills and your luck. That's why to answer the question how much money you can earn with a trading bot, I would say that you can make a lot, a little bit, no money at all, or even worse, you can also lose some money. And this leads me to the discussion on risk associated with trading bots. On the paper, trading bots seems like magic money-making machine. There is a strategy that has been tested in the past. There is some code that applies the strategy. You start your trading bot, it applies the strategy and the money starts pouring in in your bank account. Not so fast. There are different risks depending on the kind of trading bots that you use. For trading bots that work on centralized exchanges, you need to create API keys. If a hacker managed to steal your API keys, he might be able to steal all the money in your trading account. You can protect against this by keeping your API key secure and at the same time you can also create API key that only have permissions for trading, not for withdrawals. Another risk is that for arbitrage it's not possible to do a so-called atomic arbitrage which means the buy and sell transactions will not be executed at the same time for centralized exchanges. For example, if you buy Bitcoin on Coinbase at 30k and you were hoping to resell it on Binance at 31k but the market changed very fast on Binance and it's now 29k, you will have a loss instead of a gain. For trading bots on DeFi, if you do an arbitrage, no matter if your arbitrage fails or not, in all cases you have to pay for transaction fees. Another risk is the risk to be front run, which means some people can monitor the transaction pool of the blockchain and submit the same transaction as you with a higher gas price, which means they will get to profit from the opportunity that you spotted with your trading bot. And there are still a couple of other risks associated with trading bots. My point is that trading bots are not magical money-making machine. There is no guaranteed profits and worse, you can even lose money. Based on this info, should you try trading bots? Like for other investments, you should only invest what you can afford to lose. For example, if you give $1,000 to your trading bot, you have to be willing to lose this money. You might make a profit or no profit or lose it all. Making a trading bot profitable will probably require a lot of adjustments and will take time. The good way to approach this is if you already have another source of income and you want to use a small part of this income to try trading bot, then it's fine. Another important aspect is do you enjoy the process of building a trading bot? Do you enjoy the intellectual challenge of trying to find opportunities on the market, of trying to understand the market dynamics? For example, what happened when the volatility of the market goes up? What's the consequence on price? Can we study this? Is there any correlation, anything we can exploit? Do you enjoy to do this kind of research? translate it into a strategy and implement it as code. If you just want to make a quick buck and you don't enjoy the process, forget about trading bots. But if you have enough money to risk some of it for trading bots and you enjoy the process of creating trading bots, you can give it a try. If you are interested in crypto trading bots and you want to create your own, next week on Eat the Blocks Academy, we are doing a live training on crypto trading bots. In this live training, we are going to code a training bot between crypto centralized exchanges. The instructor for this live training is Dravin Parikh. Dravin is a senior blockchain developer who currently is working on a next generation yield farming project on Ethereum. Dravin also teaches blockchain technology at George Brown College in Toronto and has a very technical background. If you want to book your seat for this live training, you can follow the link in the description. I will see you for this live training. Bye!